Any team news? <laughs> uh, new contract, Jürgen, congratulations. Why is now the right time to commit yourself until 2024 and what was the real clincher for you? What was what? The real clincher, the deal clincher for you. Where's the deal clincher? It's like the why thing. did you do it? Why? <laughs> oh, because it feels right. Yeah, <laughs> easy. No, um, yeah, the club was um, asking for a while already if we, if, um, if we could talk about an extension. And um, yeah, from a specific moment on, I thought it makes sense um, before things are getting a bit intense, I don't know, and um, not now, obviously, it was completely calm, but that uh, was exactly like it should be. But maybe in the summer we would have started again, talking about um, things like that, and to new players, when you want to bring them in, they ask them, um, how long is the manager here, and stuff like that. We all wanted to avoid that, so it's now done. I'm really happy about that. Um, uh, to, and I think the best sign is that we, we signed the contract, or we agreed the contract on a really bad weather day, so that is... Um, we, I mean, we're used to it, so that's okay. Um, no, really happy, really happy family, boys, um, Pep, Pete. I'm really happy that we could um, can be part of this wonderful uh, journey for a bit longer. So um, we know about everything. We know that um, there will be um, um, problems in the future, like they were in the past, like we have today. And um, but it's, I think it makes sense that then somebody who knows the club. Um, helps sorting them then another guy has to do that and then it's always like um, I think the club is in a good place and we have the chance still to develop a lot of things a lot of exciting things coming up obviously with the, with the new academy with um, maybe a new stand and stuff like this so it's still a lot to come and um, yeah but there will be um, cloudy days as well and then you have to be there and, and make decisions and um, yeah I I really feel, meanwhile, very responsible for, for, for all the things here. And um, so um, I wanted to sort this thing, and then we did that, and great. As you spoke about players wanting to know how long the manager is going to be there for, obviously we know about the talks with regards to Minamino. Uh, where is that deal at at the moment, and, and why have you decided to move for him now? There's nothing else to say about it, actually. So we speak about it really in a moment, like we do about all transfers, um, potential transfers and whatever, in a moment when it's sorted, not earlier. So there's nothing really to say about it. It's, it's a very good player, um, I can say that. But I saw a few very good players in the Salzburg team, to be honest, much more than I wanted, <laughs> especially in the first half. So, um, yeah, that's it. With regard then to the title race, I know you focus on one game at a time, but you're eight points clear of Leicester, 14 points clear of Manchester City. There's an argument for us to say that we can't see you dropping enough points to be overhauled in the title race. So how do you see it? <laughs> oh, yeah, look, it's, is it, isn't it nice to sit in the chair and, and, and say <laughs> things like this and you don't have to play at the weekend? What the stats yeah. say when you look at your run of form? Yeah, stats. I was never interested in stats, really, and I'm, I'm, I'm not in this case. I, can, I don't start being interested in stats in this moment now. So it's just like it is. We have to, we have to um, play a lot of games, awful lot of games, and um, like other teams as well, by the way. Um, but it's not about um, that. It's really, it's for me the only way I understand. The only way I can do it is I have no idea what is in May. I have no idea in April, February, January. No idea. But I know that we play um, tomorrow tomorrow against um, Watford and that's enough as a problem to be honest because they have a new manager um, our analyze we can throw pretty much in a bin we can be picked out games from last last um, club in Belgium we picked out games from when he was at Derby uh, and Leicester which style of play stuff like this and all the things that's what what we did the last couple of days and um, so I was said that's enough as a problem and um, all the other things I don't care and I don't I'm not interested in thank you um, just to come back to your contract again if I may I know the world could be very different in five years time um, but sh for many reasons but just as far as you're concerned is there a world that you could see that you could be here forever not forever <laughs> 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 for a long, lo a lo much longer period, should we say? No, you said forever. <laughs> oh, nice. Maybe my mind was elsewhere, but yeah. you know what I mean. We are all a bit confused since yesterday. So, um, um, 
forever. Not sure, but um, no, I, I think four and a half years from now on is is uh, sounds like forever in football. That's how it is. It would be then nine, nine years. It would be the longest spell I've ever been in the club. Um, yes, I'm. I'm just looking forward to it. I don't. And one reason for um, this contract extension was that we don't speak about it anymore because that's uh, that's very important. And um, today, of course, I understand the questions. But for the next um, three and a half years, at least, I would say uh, nobody has to talk about it. Um, and we will see what happens. So the, the plan is to make it the best time of our life. Um, it was not too bad until now, but we, we, it's not, we don't feel, have the feeling that it could not be even better. So let's try to make really the best time of our lives of it and um, yeah, enjoy the, the, the ride, enjoy the journey. Um, I've, we have so much Look, in a moment, I never thought about leaving before 20, what was the old contract, 22. I never thought about it. But in a moment, when you get constantly confronted with it, then you, then you, you think, OK, um, it could end. And then I wouldn't see this guy anymore, not as, as frequently am I, as I'm used to, which I would miss. And, and all, all, so many people, so many, so many people I, we have, meanwhile, real relationships to. And that's how it is with the club. And um, that's why we thought, no, come on, that's right. And so we keep it like it is. That's it. Well, hopefully I'm still here in three and a half years. Yes, yes we all, I hope that, that really. Nice for me, yeah. well, for you maybe. We're getting older now together. Yeah. yeah grey hair gray as or no hair, no. whatever. Yeah. Thank you. Let's move Welcome. on. Let's move um, on. <laughs> just your players that are available for tomorrow. Yeah. I know that when we watched training with you yesterday, there were one or two that weren't involved in the main training. So, um, Day Dayan, what's the latest with? Out. For not forever, obviously. But. No, it will be back before my contract ends, obviously. Um, but um, no, it's out. Yeah, muscle. This time, more serious than last time. So, yeah. Should look, we have problems. Yeah, yeah. But who was who was not in training? Well, Virgil and Joe and Sadio were. Oh, they did recover. Yeah. Yeah. They did recover. Yeah. Or they're all okay. As far as I know. So as far as Dejan, do you have any time frame, just finally? No, but it's not. <laughs> no, don't have a time frame. Thank He's you. out. For Michael, questions to the Highlander? Jürgen, yeah, um, you made the point that you wouldn't have signed your, your new contract if extensions were, not, were offered to, to Pep Linders and Peter Kravitz. Yeah. How important have they been to you in getting Liverpool to the place they are now and how vital they are to where you see the future? Oh, absolutely. I worked together with Peter. I don't know exactly, actually. Probably since 18, 19 years or so. And still, still all good. Um, and with Pep, Pep is um, since four, four years with Pep, I think. Um, so one guy I know for ages, but he's still developing every day, like I try to develop. Um, the understanding of the game gets better and better and better over the years. Um, um, we really improved a lot, and bringing Pep in in a different role refreshed the whole situation. To be honest, it's just um, important. Pep is an outstanding coach, outstanding coach with plenty of ideas, um, and so it was clear for me uh, that I want to ha have that consolation um, here. I had to ask them first; they were happy about it. So, and then it's normal that you, uh, it's the same thing that we um, enjoy the work together, enjoy the work here. The boys want to be part of the project as well. And so it was clear that we have to, that we have, we'll do it together. And so I'm really happy about that fact. They're incredibly important to me, that you can imagine. Uh, Mo Salah scored his first goal for Liverpool on his debut against Watford. And his goal scoring record since then has been phenomenal. Uh, He's gone through, like all strikers do, all front players do, through phases where he won't score as many and he, he missed some great chances the other night, but that doesn't stop him, does it? It doesn't stop him wanting to get into those areas where the opportunities arise and scored a great goal. And, but having that, that belief to still get him into positions, even after missing, is, is a, a, a real talent in itself. That is what good strikers, well tough strikers have. Huh? So I was really, I was really, really happy about the goal he scored because of the situation he missed before. It was good play. All the other situations we played much better, created the chances really well and 
just like it is sometimes. You don't see in his stats, obviously, that he from time to time missed chance because it looks like he scores pretty much all the time and he, he scores really a lot. It's incredibly important to us. It was really, really important goal for us, important for him, of course, as well. To finish a game like this off with such a great, great highlight is exactly what you want to have. And um, so, yeah, like a lot of others in a really good shape, um, played a really good game. Eh? So, like football is like this. If you don't, if he doesn't score a second one, we win one nil, and people will speak afterwards only about the chances he missed. But coming in the positions he have been there, that makes it makes all the difference because he was always free in those moments because of his movements and because of the passes the other boys played. So, um, I was at, I saw a lot of good football in Salzburg, to be honest, from both teams, um, and um, Mo and another and an incredible goal for Mo. And uh, very important one from Nabi, which is a nice uh, thing as well. So um, second game in a row and then scoring um, is, is really good and very important for us as well. Thank you. Come on. Wow, <laughs> it's a completely new place. <laughs> um, you are down to two fit centre backs now. How much of a concern is that, and what solution do you have to maybe alleviate the problem? Oh, it's a concern. I can imagine it's not the first time that we are in a situation like this. Um, I think last year, one game Fabinho played then a centre half, right? Unfortunately, he is out as well. So yeah, it's not too cool. In the moment, we have to. We should take care of them, pack them in cotton wool, and. Um, Ask them what they want to do in trading and stuff like this. Um, <coughs> are you ready or not? Um, apart from that, yeah, we have to be creative. Uh, we have the kids, of course, with Kijana um, and, and Sepp. We have still defensive minded midfielders. So um, there are different systems where you can um, use different kind of defenders as well. Yeah, but. That's how it is. So in a moment, I don't. I have a lot of ideas, but I uh, hope for most of them, I never have to use them. To be honest. Happy, uh, David. Anything from you? Mm -hmm. uh, um, but we're not coming back. We're just uh, checking with the guys here. You're okay, Richard. You're okay. And James, we're coming from you. Yeah, earlier on in the season, you said you didn't want to discuss any contract and bad back in August time. What, what was the difference between then and now for you? Just a, it's just a, the, the feel. It's right. I don't. How is that? It started when, for me completely surprising that um, that you and other journalists asked me about the situation in two and a half years before before it's finished. I really didn't get that. But then um, the club was asking early, uh, and I had just to start thinking about it. Until then, I didn't think about it. That's that's how it is. Why should I two and a half years before the contract ends, um, or three years in that moment? Pretty much. But yeah, three years then. So well, for me, no reason. But how is that? It's a it's a uh, it's a time where we we plan every day, and we plan the next week and the next month. And in the moment, when you come to planning the next season, if you want, and then there come up like questions uh, in one or two talks. How long will you be here? And I say, yeah, contract until 22. Say, yeah, it's football. Eh? So I really thought for a couple of things. In this case, it's um, it's it's positive and good that people know. Some people in football know that I will be here a bit longer, and um, so it's like uh, gives us stability. I wanna. To be honest, it's like for all the things what happened here, um, it's like a payback to the club as well because it's really it's if so far it was a 100% win-win situation and we hope it can stay like this. So it's uh, the, the support we got from Mike, John, and Tom is incredible, and um, that's what we want to use. And uh, you don't know that in the first place when you come in how close you will be with the club after three, four years, but now we know it. And um, so it became our home and then we want to, we want to stay here. That's that's all. Okay. Ingrid, from you. Yeah. Uh, hi, Jürgen. Um, being the manager for Liverpool Football Club, how does that affect you as a person? Not at all. Maybe the right answer. It, it has a massive impact on my life. <laughs> uh, because... Um, when I was in Mainz, everybody knew me in Mainz. When I became when I became manager of Dortmund, everybody knew me in Germany. And now it feels like the world is not big enough that I could hide somewhere. Um, 
so yes, if it, it has a massive impact on how I can plan holidays or day offs. Yeah, that's true. So that's not too cool to be honest, but um, that's actually only negative um, part of um, my job in this club. No, all the rest, but it's no nothing else changed. All the same like it was before. Maybe good, maybe not so good. I don't know exactly, but it's like it is. Massa, given the match, you said he's not going to hopefully comment on that. <laughs> why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> you can have a good guess why I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just 11 minutes. And I think maybe we see you more often now. Huh? A lot of huge in Japan. <laughs> because it's Liverpool. And you. And because, you know, like, uh, you and... What's happened to you and... Uh, between you and Shinji Kagawa is the, one of the best things for Japanese football industry. So, I'd like to ask you, what was like? You know, uh, working with a, a Japanese player at the time. Oh, look, we can't speak about it. We don't speak about me. No, we speak about Shinji Kagawa. <laughs> I love that. So, uh, no, that's great. That's, and that's smart as well. I loved working together with Shinji Kagawa. I loved it. Because um, he was. Uh, he's my only Japanese player so far, probably. Huh? Yeah. Um, and um, it was a great experience um, for me, really, because um, I had not a real idea about Japanese football before I met Jinji. When we saw him on video and we, and we signed him from watching him on video, we thought, we know, um, we were not 100% sure. And when we came first time, when he was first time part of training and we went in the dressing room, all the coaches were hugging each other. Oh my God, we got a super player. Eh? So, and that was, was the time, two years only, in the first moment, two years with Shinji. Yeah. And um, yeah, you know, better than I do, attitude of, of um, Japanese players is outstanding, world great, outstanding, football smart, technical wise, really good, usually, of the players I saw now, really dynamic um, and really just nice people and um, trying to, to adapt to, to the different styles was great, great experience. Um, still, still following his career, obviously, still um, try to, to, to figure out how he's doing. Um, yeah, just a great experience. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Cheers, everyone. Thank you. Oh, welcome.